Hi everyone, it's Ryan 1940 here, and today we're looking at Tank Crew. This is footage from my first time online, and actually my first PvP kill. Uh, fortunately, the video's audio was missing, and um, I didn't understand that there was like a track replay feature in the game, so once I got that sorted out, we're going to see um, the next sortie I did, which was with a Tiger tank uh, the, the following night, and it was quite fun. We stormed through some... Uh, I guess like the woods that's adjacent to like the front lines of the enemy and kind of sit there and start destroying some AI units until it forces uh, actual player tanks to come out and try to engage me. So stick around. So I'm actually not new to the PvP tank sort of thing. I don't play War Thunder or um, World of Tanks or anything like that, but about 20 years ago I used to play this game called World War II Online quite a bit and uh, there was tank combat in that game and you know, it had a realistic damage modeling, and it was heavy on the simulation side where, you know, if you died, you didn't get to see where it came from. You just had a black screen. So um, you kind of learned pretty quickly if you wanted to keep your sanity of, of little tips and tricks to stay alive. So I find that to be kind of effective in this game as well. The three main takeaways that I had from World War II Online that I think carry over pretty well in this game um, are the following. Number one, you want to use trees to your advantage, and as a tank guy, you, you know, with the air power overhead, that's probably your best bet in surviving that, is to just stay underneath the trees. Number two is to use the terrain to your advantage, and if you can find berms or the crest of a hill to park most of your tank behind, that will present a smaller target to the enemy tank, and you're less likely to be spotted, and you're less likely to take battle damage that way. And the final one is, you know, Drive up to tree lines and things like that and just park, turn your engine off, use the tank commander, look around and listen because you'll be able to hear aircraft, you'll be able to hear the engine noises of tanks and that'll help you survive. And you know at that point they can't, they don't really know that you're there. So that's pretty neat that it still carries over into a game about 20 years later. So it happens pretty quickly, we're driving through the woods and finally we are engaged with the enemy. A track has exploded so we're stuck. And uh, I'm kind of confused here. I kind of think initially that we're attacked by a human player. After a quick scan, I see that an artillery cannon's firing at us at point blank range. And uh, off to the left a little bit is a tank that's also engaging us. So the direction to the right is where the human tanks would probably come from. So once that's clear, we're free to engage this cannon in front of us. We're able to destroy that gun very easily. And now we traverse the turret left to engage the tank that's uh, directly in front of us. So I'm not sure how the ground units uh, work in IL-2, but it's kind of strange because the other tanks look alive, but they're not engaging me at all. And we kill this guy, and I actually waste a lot of time trying to kill some other tanks because they seem, um, I don't know, they, they don't seem to explode at all when I shoot them at close range with armor-piercing rounds and whatnot. So I try to engage the other tanks as well, but after a few minutes of this, I just decide to try and kill the trucks that are parked underneath some of the camouflage netting here at this base. We end up destroying a few trucks and afterwards I try to position the tank body in the direction that I believe enemy forces would be coming from in response to this attack. It actually doesn't take that long for enemy tanks to arrive. The first one drives upwards towards the enemy camp and the second one kind of skirts the forest tree line. Fortunately I don't see that one and I start to engage the guy that's at the camp. After destroying the first tank, it becomes very clear that there's another tank nearby. Luckily, we're able to spot him very quickly and start to engage him. Our first shot is right on target, and about the same time, a uh, friendly aircraft does a strafing run on the camp. And I'm not sure if that confuses the tank that we're engaging, because he changes his direction for a little bit and then traverses back. He might have been tracked, I'm not sure. So rather bizarrely he opens up with his machine gun and I'm not sure if he's doing that because his gun is out or if it's because he's actually trying to do some sort of damage. But needless to say it's very short lived because we get our third shot off which kills him. At this point we're kind of screwed because the enemy knows exactly where we're at and we're not able to move so ultimately I kind of watched the field where the tanks came from before but of course uh, one of the tanks comes by through the woods and gets a nice flanking shot on me and kills me.
And with that, it's a very fiery end for our second online sortie. It wasn't so bad, we bagged a couple of human player kills and we've killed some AI tanks. And if you know why some of those other AI tanks were indestructible, um, please let me know because it's kind of bothering me and I'd like to know if I'm wasting my ammo or not. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again later.